Step 1. You need to download the Realterm program and install it in your computer. Visit description for link. Step 2. Go to phone. You need to have a SIM in your phone for this process to work for the original carrier of the phone. Step 3. Go to your setup screen and connect to Wi-Fi. Step 4. Using a USB cable, connect your phone to your computer. Make sure that your computer is recognizing your phone by installing the last Samsung drivers available. Visit description for link. Step 5. Once the phone is recognized by the computer and USB connected, we need to find out in what USB port your phone is connected to. To do that, you need to go to Device Manager in your computer. Click on Modems. Then click on Samsung Mob USB. On that screen, open the Modem tab. The first thing that you will find is Port, Como 9. Como 9 is an example. Your phone could be connected to another port like COM41, COM39, and so on. Step Step 6. Now that we know our USB port number, open your Realterm program. In the Realterm display tab, make sure to check the half duplex box. Step 7. Then Click on the port tab. Now, here we are going to enter the port number that our phone is without the com in the port box, for example, com43 equals 43. I click on the open button next to it. Step 8. Go to the send tab. In the first box, type the following command, at plus Craig, R, N and click on send numbers. Step 9. At this step, you need to look at the phone screen because the dealer is going to try to dial 123. Four. Step 10. When the dialer shows up, end the call and immediately click on the message button. The phone is going to go to SMS to send a message to the 1234 number that the phone tried to dial. Send this 1234 number youtube.com message. Send it. After the message is sent to this number, the words youtube.com would become a blue internet link. Click on it. The browser is going to go to YouTube. After you are in YouTube, click on the three dots at the upper right hand side of the screen. Click on settings, then click about, then Google privacy policy. The phone will ask you to choose an internet browser. Use the internet browser. Step 11. When you are in the browser, again go to Root Junkie app. Step 12. Then, go on google.com and search for Samsung App Store. Click on the App Store button. The Samsung is going to open and ask you to sign in. You would have to either create an account or use your existing Samsung account. Do not worry, you would get to remove it later. Step 13. Once you are at the Samsung account, Search for S File Explorer and install it in your phone. Once it is installed, open the app. The app will allow you to go to the download folder of your phone. For more step, follow the setup instructions below in description.